your view of marriage yeah, yeah? because yeah. unajua kuna kuanga na signs eh mm. um when you have three guests who have gone through separation people have gone through a lot of separation out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah? yeah yeah it's something especially for millennials that it's a thing you mm. know because maybe millennials were raised unajua soma upate degree woe uko na picket fence life will be perfect mm, mm. so there was a, there was not a lot of focus in people understanding who they are yeah. so what do you think right now the large prevalence of separation and divorce and it's not even in Kenya only yeah, just yeah. globally it's it's, wo- it's mm. globally uh, what I, do you think is i think cuz to me romanticize a lot of stuff all of them fanya love is kind of like it's perfect eh? mm. so by love being perfect it means that you you find this one person who fulfills all your needs and that by all your needs i mean both physical and emotional mm. and in real life it's not possible that's not possible mm. so you find like our parents uh there was always that thing of this thing is not going to be perfect so with that in mind kulikuwa na more area of giving each other space to grow and understand each other and of course we our parents like on the female side our mothers did not have much choice and commitment they had to nene see i feel like commitment pia iko um but yo commitment issues uh, kuna commitment issues alafu pia history like right now i feel like it's even harder to settle because of two things mm. the woman is not desperate you know mm. i mean she has choices <laughs> but apart from choices uh-huh. the woman has experience that our parents might not have had like True. we've had uh like Majuzi nani this girl let's say let's say what's her name King Kalala yeah alikuwa mm. na obina alafu akasema body count yake ni 50 might have been a joke but mm. there's a girl out there with a body count of 50 True who them could settle it akwa hard with number 51 because if number mm. 51 does not perform maybe like number 24 yeah she'll always know but it's you see better. Oh yeah, our parents were gonna put like maybe body county like any 2 3 because mm. so you had to leave the village one. do you mm. think but do you think then what we need to do because it is what it is eh yeah, yeah, yeah. so do you think we now need to change the reason why people stay together so that it's more of choice yeah 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 mm. so kila mtu lazima kuwe na ile personal accountability au is it too kwa umezembea na una expect marriage yeah. yako itaji sort yeah 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 yeah, yeah kuna hiyo kuna hiyo ile mna, mna understand like life now is so it's so dynamic it's yeah, yeah. like sana no. mm. uh, i actually mm. don't think uh in the future mm. so like 15 years 20 years from now mm. there will be very few marriages, marriages. marriages. Yes, yes, yes. there will the, not be a need actually mm. in the next 100 years i would be surprised the marriage institution it it's, so so what will be there how will cause people still biologically mm. People still need we are still male and female. Yeah yeah yeah. You know Itakuwa hilo tunatengeneza mbao hii. People fantasize yeah. okay mm. you'll pardon my English. People yeah. fantasize sex. Mm. Yeah. But sex it's a biological need. Yeah mm. yeah, yeah, yeah yeah. You have your female mm. part sexual organs and yeah. male sexual organs. Mm. Mm. But sai tumezifanya ikuwe Hollywood. Mm. Mm. So what, how do you think such needs will be met? Azizi hiyo ngono itaendelea. The only thing ni itakuwa cause size una japia unaangalia like liberal america imekaa mikambia madem ni kama sisi you know mm. so ikaambia dem tumia nini yako to the same way guys use it cause yeah. you see for us it's a uh, sweet tumia pia kama a badge of honor ile mm. like nikikaa chini na msiko like body count yako ni aniambia 3 aniambia jo yangu buda jo yangu ni mbao like eh hey, mbao mara mbao eh hey. <laughs> acheki so wasoko but size madem wameanza ku do the same thing yeah na sasa shida yetu kama chali the more demo anaendelea kuwa kama mimi the more anaendelea kuwa non non marriage material si ndio mm. so it end up you time ya hookups like tumetengeneza mtu hii alafu tunaishi separately but since now we have cars utajua we can still raise the kid because i can come to your house nikae usiku alafu i get into my car drive and go but these things were not possible back in the days yeah. Mm. like we had to live together for us to raise the kid together but do you think we need to think about them more positively i think we yeah, think yeah. about them very mm. negatively mm. and i think they are not you well, know think about it like all this the dynamics mm. like um, for me when i look at marriage material yeah. whether for a man and a woman mm. for me a man who's marriage material mm. nim two 
ukianza kulia mm. ama kukikuwa na periods ama nini mm. si ati ame freeze mm. ako na capacity ya kusema mm. okay how do you want us to handle this yeah, unajua yeah, yeah, ama yeah. okay let me listen mm. tu sababu unajua men pia ni nini ni mafundi wa mitambo ukimwambia yeah. kitu anataka kupatia solution sometimes we don't want solution yeah, yeah. Mm. so being able to also understand how as men and women we are wired yeah mm. Mm. and even as as a woman for example because men complain so in one of my classes recently in school we were talking about rape in marriages mm. Mm. yeah mm. and people were saying both ways and we needed to expand even the scope of marriages mm. because pia kuna homosexual marriages mm. unajua this mm. thing now is not even a joke yeah mm. yeah <laughs> Yeah. Mm. So mna maliza kuonge marriage ya man and woman, mm. mnaenda man man, mm. woman woman. Mm. By the time mm. umemaliza hiyo class unataka tu kunywa maziwa ulale, you are mm. done like mm. of course for us because we didn't grow up in it. Mm. But ideally for me I was saying in the conventional part of the man and the woman, yeah. sometimes no two people get married to rape each other. Yeah. But most women don't understand their sexuality because as guys growing up tuliambiwa nikikuona na mwanaume mm. nikikuona na kijana so mm. unakuwa na hiyo fear na mwanaume na yanaambiwa the exact opposite mm. sai kwa sababu umetairi wewe ni mwanaume mm. sasa lazima utafute mschana mm. go conquer yeah toa kutu so unaona yeah. lazima kutakuwa na clash <laughs> yeah. mm. Mm. so that thing hakuna vile it can it will go into the marriage because mm. the the man is not able to understand or oh, the woman is hormonal now mm. or oh, right now her sexuality iko hivi juu ya hivi so how do we go around it and for a man his organs are external the minute yeah yeah shafika hiyo place he needs to deal with that thing one way or another mm. no uko kwa nyumba no uko na bibi and then okay okay but but, but i i think pia kunele maturity will come with time where yes yes for for a man mm. and, and, I, and I am speaking as a man yeah i enjoy when i think that i'm giving pleasure sindio mm. cuz sisi mm. so jo tukianza hiyo kitu tunaweza maliza in 2 minutes if we wanted <laughs> yeah. the only reason that we take it for all that time yeah. iji yako <laughs> sindio mm. so ikifika level where hautaki alafu ni jiforce Jiako, mm. I need to so look at myself. So it's a lack of maturity. Yeah, it's a lack of maturity mm. on the male side because mm. yeah. like I get to there. Alafu, I think to share joke na Ian that mm. one of the things you notice when you get married mm. is you start to notice that women are hornier than men. Yeah. Mm. And uh, in the institution now. In the institution of marriage. Mm. Yeah. You find yourself wanting. Zuri, like <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. No, the sexual peak of a woman is mm. between 35 and 50. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. damn so we still have trouble coming. <laughs> you have okay. trouble because most men <laughs> wala kanga mali and they say mm. unajua huni mama watoto. Mm. Eh mama watoto ni hatari. Eh? You know it's that's why information is very important mm. because mm-hmm. this is also biological. Okay. Yeah. So wewe unaona ai sai ah sai kuna watoto watatu. Sai mm. that's when hash is on. Mm. Mm. And you you're thinking ah sai let's cheat. I think I think mm. nini suanza kula na pregnancy cuz mm. mkiwa pregnant mnakuaga mm. pia hon mm. i make it sense mm. oh, mtutumbo imefika hapa baada you go like kuja like <laughs> <laughs> no, no. so i think by that time so anza ku learn i love pia bila tumesema right now we have information yeah. so since we have information i feel like it makes us a better lovers yes. than mm. our parents generation yeah. Yeah. like mm. najuaga madam moment tutuweke memes ngapi juu ya bag na zip acheki kuna be like the zip is right there you can't find it so you see now with time tumeanza kujua like oh okay there's actually this other part that we need to play with yeah. mm. this is information that i feel like our grandfathers did not have and mm. the few that had it ilikuwa wacha tufanye fgm so that we mm. don't have to deal with it you see oh, so that we don't have to deal with mm. it yeah mm. unaona so kuna hizo vitu zote zile sisi tuko na so i feel like if we are better lovers to the expect uh ata nini wangu akiwa older ndajua ah hii kitu si lazima ni spend the whole night ndio mm. nimfikishe pale anaenda mm. i can also take this shortcut and expressway mm. yeah mm. naweza tumia expressway bila msema <laughs> <laughs> so i feel like kuna kuna hiyo but mm. yes the institution of marriage is at risk also but mimi naweza sema it's at risk kabisa juu ya liberal america 
Yeah, Mublem, westernization. Mublem states mm. more than any country. States ndio ilimekaa mikatanganya watu that will find this 50-50 relationships. And I I remember I think kuneo ni ya Michelle Obama yeah. it goes around mm. where yeah. she said it's never it's 50-50. Not, but it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's not. Cuz sisi like I I feel like at the core of manhood settling is not the thing. Mm. So we always need a reason to settle. Na me dem actually but that reason to settle I'm like I'm in this for life. As long as you can understand that I might not help you out on this this this, 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 and this yeah. But I'm here. Like Yes. Saizuki ni uliza kama if I see any reason to divorce, mimi naweza kuambia right now as things stand, mm. wife ata ni divorce more before me ni divorce. <laughs> Unela? Mm. And you see that's another thing. Yeah. Educated women ask for divorce at a higher rate than yes. educated men. True. Yeah. So True. me like I'm at that space where yake amwa ishe inaisha mm. but mimi niko like okay sir yeah. you umekubali chakula mostly ni wewe nini ni wewe i'm good and yeah. once in a while unipatia say unyeti i'm good <laughs> like i don't need anything yeah. Yeah. i don't need yeah. Yeah. yeah so i feel like as long as tumeacha hii romanticization ya 50 50 na ushanguo leo mimi na ushanguo kesho i think Mm-mm. it can last forever i i agree and and i mean what you're talking about even as the masculine there's mm. also the feminine yeah 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 because the nature of the feminine is it there's what we call containment mm, mm. and this what i'm about to say might be very controversial eh? mm. but when i talk about containment there's a way a man provides containment for the woman yeah yeah and i'm not talking about slavery i'm not talking about asking for permission mm, i'm just mm. talking about a level of safety mm, yeah mm, mm. have you ever seen a scenario for old couples where the woman is busy akona chama akona wageni akona nini but the man has provided room for yeah. her to be wejiba jibambe mm. if you're happy I know mm. this house will be clean. I know mm. there will mm. be food. I know my needs will be taken care of. Missi na maneno. Una get? So that kind of thing where as a woman it's not really about being subservient ama yeah, yeah, kusema yeah. kueta permission ya kwenda out. Most of the time men those things they don't bother them as long mm. as you're honest. Mm. But understanding that there is a way a man naturally is built to give your yeah, containment yeah, yeah, when yeah. i get and as a woman it actually works for us you you flourish better you una glow what they call now yeah. you start glowing mm. when i get so when the men and women are able to understand who they are biologically emotionally mentally the strengths that they are built with is of it is it becomes easier hata akuta wife wana fight yeah yeah i feel pia my dem kijua gaio like at the core of yeah. manhood is the need not to settle like there's mm. this one joke ya ya Chris Rock Chris Rock say wanga men don't settle mm. they surrender and <laughs> and to me it's the ultimate like so what's I, the difference between settling and and, and surrendering surrendering really like oh yo shit now this is my life mm. oh mm. shit now i have mm. to make it work mm. and when we surrender as long as the woman gives us enough reason to stay in the surrender mode yeah. we'll be okay but mm. let's say i surrender that means that at the core of my manhood siko nataka ku settle but sasa tumefika level where tuna argue why the kitchen is dirty but I'll why is it, it. okay sorry because uh-huh. za mm-hmm. have to argue why i didn't cook mm. uh, i'm there like damn i can get this from a side chick because another thing like to happen Side chicks always cook. Unajua watu chukua kati side chicks. Side chicks are very bad mm. for a relationship because mm. they cook, they give you sex, they treat you like a king, they they do all that ish. So uh come sana za patana kale ka side chick inabidi ende huko. But sasa now if the main person is still doing those things. Yeah. Hata kidu your manly things they become easier. Like oh steam me aribika, I can't after screw driver and try to deal now. Yeah, you see, now I can do my man thing, you do your woman thing. We are both independent in our own way yeah. and we make it work. Yeah. But kifika level msame kuja kwa kwa keja. Mm. But ajo wife jo yuko jo Netflix, mimi niko kitchen jo na ushasufuria. Ah, uh, atakuwa like don't worry about them. But now inasema ganga that's the emasculation like ile. Mm. Now they're taking away your masculinity. Your masculinity. And with time that never works. But yeah. 
something I, I wonder, I actually, you know, you have a point in what you're saying, mm. but something that has come to my mind as you're talking, even in the institution of marriage, mm. is mm. why is it that men, divorced men in their, after 60, mm. 60s, 70s, life seems to be so hard for them, more than the women. Yeah. Mm. I got divorced with 23-year-old girls. Yeah, <laughs> It, it depends. I think with the modern world right now, yeah. if you take care of your physical health as a man, eh? as a man, yeah, you can be in your 60s there dating 30 year olds and, and whatever, good. and you're good okay. and you're happy and whatever. Uh, but I, I don't want to know what you mean by loneliness. Um, I mean, so there mm. was something, there's a time recently, mm. uh, Uyu author, Gugiwa Thiongo. Mm. He was trending after he his wife divorced him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think she was much younger than him. Mm, well, yeah. Okay, okay. Because he's in his eighties. Mm. I think the ex-wife probably in her late fifties. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. And now the article said that he lives alone mm. now to do a job. Yeah. And he's in his eighties. So Pia Mwili me unajua. And it's like also, his kids are not visiting him as much and mm, some of mm, his things. Mm. And there's always been that thing of as as parents get older, it's mm. like the kids are more bothered with the mother yeah. than with their, with their father. Mm. So looking at it, it looks like as men get older, if like they lose, because you know you're not as strong. and mm, mm. You don't have those things anymore to speak for you. Mm. And you probably you probably don't have as much disposable income as you used to do because maybe say you're not actually going for conferences or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uko to home, maybe you can uh, to a retirement. Mm, mm. So it's like the your use ni kama significantly in mm. the chin. I, I think you're dealing with the lonely part. I, I'd look at it two ways. Mm -hmm. If you're in your 80s and you're divorced, you're one of the lucky few. Most people in their 80s, their spouse died. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of us don't get to reach 80. Mm. 80 is a privilege for a chosen few. Mm. And that's something we never take seriously. It's true. Like, it's true. 80. Yeah. Like, it size is a lot. If someone mm. like Buddha, utakuwa alive in the next 37 years. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. Because <laughs> there's no guarantee. Yeah. Um, that's number one. Number two, one of the reasons why African fathers find themselves lonely is I think we've been taught for a very long time that the African father's role is just discipline. Mm. So if my role is just discipline, that means my kid knows me for shouting at him, threatening him, whatever. Right. So hakuna emotional connection. So mm -hmm. at some point it's going to reach where mtu yuko abuda alikuwa gamtiaji, wacha, wacha jipange. Mm. But kids who had that relationship ya yeah, kid father and you mostly find it with very wealthy families yeah you'll find there's always the kid father relationship because the father was less angry because mm. not your finances be make you angry yes so you ha you'll have the the kirubis where him and like his daughter and his son yeah left them a will and mm. they're so happy they can even split with their younger sister who was not in the will you see mm. like because they grew up with this there was Akuna love there was yeah. a relationship mm. yeah na pia relationship kat kat yao na watoi. Mm. that's why like right now the problem i have with a lot of masculinity coaches online is they teach men that don't even get attached to your or your kids like i'm um, there like ah no. this is you this is a this part is of you, you. This, is yeah. literally this is an extension of you yeah. life yeah. after death mm. for okay, you okay that's True. being selfish yeah yeah. Mm. So na pata. Yeah. Sawa, utakuwa mtiaji kwa mtoyo wako. Alafu mtoyo wako yuko pale, ananiona mimi na mtoyo wangu we are having fun. And Eventually ukiwa old, mtoyo wako ajali. Cuz mm. emotions are human need. Yeah. Eh? yeah. Mtoyo wako ajali. Yeah. Alafu mimi, mimi saa hizi najua like if my the relationship I have with my kid maintains TV, it's going to stay like this forever. For sure. Like cuz uh, she's going to know that this person and if I get another kid um to yet I do like Buddha is accessible. Yes. Buddha atakubali during teenagehood I might bang the door, I might do something <laughs> stupid, I might play yeah. loud music. Mtajuizi yeah. ujinga zote mm. ni part of growth and part True. of what. But come to yana jua like it's coming in the form of a slap. So you might never know najua pia ngugiwa thiongo had to deal with so much cuz he else li bidi pia hepe moyo. Yeah. So you find that sometimes that anger we transfer it to our kids. Ata your trauma. Ulichiki kama nani? Nina Simon. 
Mm. Nenda Simone used to mm. beat her kid up. I take it. Oh. So mm. kuna ile time where we we take the anger to a bad place. Ama sure. if mimi ni mtu wa nguvu ya thiongo and uh, my dad marries a younger wife because I'm assuming this is not their mother. Sindio? I think he had from both. Yeah. 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 Wale, wa uyu. Yeah. wale waze yeah. wale wamelenga buda utapata yeah. niju hakuwa happy maybe with this younger girl mm. and what what so kuna kwa gana hizo yeah, yeah. so in short life iko na consequences yeah life iko na consequences so take back your power take back your power kitabu yako mpya yep mm. um it's available at nuria store mm. uh, by next week it should be available textbook center also okay i will communicate dates za kufanya signing mm. and such mm. things mm. but the book is uh, It, it it just talks about i was giving an example in another show and i said mm, we mm. grew up in a very funny culture yenye hata ukitakwenda lu unaomba permission yeah. Yeah, but if you yeah. think about it logically are you really supposed to borrow permission to go to the toilet okay what class it's supposed to maybe notify in a fa, in a fa, it's supposed maybe, to be granted yeah a yeah. number okay even in a full day how yeah. many times do you go for a short call mm. maybe yeah. four mm. times ikienda sana mm. Mm. So untakuniambia hiyo ni kitu ya ku disrupt na bado kulikuwa na walimu wanasema we kwanza umeenda sana na sasa huko press tuko hivi mm. simama mm. hapa mm. that's those are not okay things that yeah. unajua yeah. tunazi tumezi normalize mm. because they happened yeah. but that's just a random example of saying like i feel like as humans we are created fully in capacity with our unique gifts and talents and this is what we should show, showcase mm. and we should mm find ways of always operating from very high energy yeah, yeah, yeah. so gratitude unajua um kauko naanga like we need to let some things go hakuna mtu ajaiko sehemu nyingine that's a given unajua yeah, yeah. so just living life from a place of abundance of joy of gratitude mm. um but understanding how to get to that level for you mm. to get to that level sometimes you have to deal with the junk yeah, yeah. unajua yeah. na sasa hiyo junk watu wengi kwanza squeeze you find people talking about trauma mm. so maybe uko na childhood trauma maybe mlikuwa mnachanishwa but i don't think there is anyone in our generation mwenye ana trauma Yeah, it's so kuna si kitu ati yakuka sasa ati umekasirikia wazazi wako. They did mm. what they knew. Mm. Si wewe umegrow up sasa. Yeah, mm. Take responsibility for your life. I always uh, joke about it. Hizi mm. nasema maparo wetu pia alikuwa ma youth wa kitu raise because we always exactly. forget that. I mean your mother wanted to go somewhere and twerk but she couldn't go twerk <laughs> because, because of, of you. <laughs> she was a parent. <laughs> Because we are doing those things right now. True. My youth, mm. we go to na yeah, yeah. yeah. So as True. long as you'll give them more. Yeah. Just mm. ways to pre- prevent people to live a lot in their heads mm. and and just get into that suicide and depressive kind of mode. Like mm. I think peer ku understand patience ya ku grow vitu and you have to put in the work. Mm. Unajua a lot of people think eh hey, nikienda viral nitakuwa na do. No, 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 no. Yeah. Mm. You have me I sat for a whole year and wrote this book. Yeah. And, mm. and I'm still in school na bado ni gumbaru ina nile mbaya sana mm. but mm. i understand that this is a season of my life that's very important yeah. so we also have to give each other reality checks unajua mm. nothing will come on your table ikiti haikulanda hapa it mm. had to be bought and placed here yeah, yeah. and i get mm. so i'm just teaching people how to grow up that's what the book is about okay yes and the number is it pata koko ikaratas yeah okay So people can order there. The book is only 1500 shillings. Okay. Um and it's a good read. Yeah. yeah. So nataki gi. Iko nini kuna vitabu hapo? So tu nisa iongeza. Oh nice. So utaiongeza kwa hiyo kwa. Yeah, unaongeza kwa collection yetu. So you can get the book mm. in Nuria store. Mm. This is the number 0729829697. Okay. So get, neural, get neural get neural. Get neuralized. Neuralized. Yeah, so this yeah. is a this is a um, store. Uh, not uh, yeah, Nuria tunajua. Nuria is a bookstore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like one of the store. biggest bookstores. Right now it's one of the biggest bookstores. Yeah, for so like have, especially they, have... they support Kenyan publishers yes, a lot. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Nuria tunajua. Awesome. Mm. Uko mm. with it. Yeah, yeah. But thank you for having me. Yeah, I I ni sipia si tumefurahia. Yeah. Um I think your topic here modern marriage it's something that people need to have a conversation about. Yes. Um Because right now vile nimesema the modern woman is empowered yeah uh, the modern man might feel like the woman is taking away his power yeah and now it's about to get your compromise yes where like how do we keep this 
going engine running yeah, yeah. and i feel up on your trick in akwaga and both genders are important i think we need to yeah. get out of our heads and thinking like men are more important women are more important ah ah hatukuwekwa hapa ku compete yeah yeah, mm. yeah you know we are here mm. to complement and grow each other yeah hakuna mtu anajua kila kitu yeah, mm. yeah so kitu. kila mtu ukiingia kila mahali unaingia ukiwa mpole Mm. Mm. <laughs> I think. Yeah. yeah. No, it's easy. I think that's this is just common sense, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's more of uh Yeah, we need each other. Yeah. And uh let's make it work. Yeah. But I still insist <coughs> um we need to stop these public proposals. Yes. Um I feel like it's uh one number one it's an African. Yeah. And this Uh, love number two, I think like it it can put pressure on the other person if they are yeah. not ready. Yeah. Cuz sometimes people might not be ready not because of what and what but cuz kila one try to achieve in life. Like yes. I still have one, two, three, three goals. Things. Yeah, yeah. Kwa mm, pressure. Mm. Uh, uh, so I feel like where well, in hindsight uh life is to be lived. Mm. I said when I got here life is a roller coaster and yeah, the right yeah, yeah. roller coaster inafanga mali na simama unadhani imesimama mm. alaf you know mm. yeah. so <laughs> yeah no, so, yeah you were saying hata <laughs> kienda chini just scream just scream <laughs> but uko hapo ndani be mm. in mm. it uh. live we are not rehearsing this is yeah. life it's yeah. amazing mm. we have a new day every day to mm. do and show up as the best version of yourself mm. take it some days unaweza feel eh, mm. it's okay some days you might feel today mm. it's okay unajua i still believe in prayer yeah okay yeah mm. so pray whatever it is whether it you call it god or source i write about it in the book mm. uh, whether it's nature for you just anything that makes you feel more alive mm. Mm. just do that and then take it a day at a time Yeah yeah. Hapo kwanza hiyo kitu ile mali isema hivyo imewe nikumbusha kuna kitu nilipata kama mtu alikorrect watu. Mm. Watu sema you only live once. Sema ti no. no. You only die once you but die you once. live mm. daily. You live daily. Yeah, yeah. You can change yourself daily. Mm. Yeah. Cuz you can you be alive and, yeah. and you only lived once. Mm. You're just waiting to be confirmed dead. Yeah, so yeah. Imagine. You yeah. can be alive but you're not mm. living. You're not living. Yeah. yeah. So you can handle life as it comes. Change mm. this, change that, yeah. change this but you mm. dead you may dead. Aurudi. Alafu uzuri like whatever you start like you see even mm. with this show mm. yeah so maybe kuna mtu uliambia ngai idea akasema hiyo idea hapana mm. 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 but you find that you just starting and giving it your own perspective and your own rhythm mm. in a, in a, in a cause ripple effect yeah. mm. Mm. so there is nothing that anyone is doing that is insignificant yeah oh unajua siku zetu tukianza usanii people thought you were not okay yeah huko sawa huko sawa but now it's become a whole thing tiktok that you're dancing for a living yeah. and you're getting endorsed by big corporate so don't ever feel small hiyo idea uko nayo inaweza kuja hiyo na mahali but you can be the first one to do it yeah because mm. yeah. they may another example like uh, when uh, azia did ile challenge yake ya utawezana yeah. i don't think she thought a few years later ange kwa kwa idea visit dubai mm-hmm. like it's mm. These things are powerful. Right yes. now your life can change. Yeah. Uh, but in your story, yeah, you don't live once. Mm. Every day you live. So yeah. every day you have a chance to reinvent yourself. Yes. Become a different person and nini. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. So yeah, I I'm think maybe the next time to kick have now we can talk about music, we can talk about yes. what. Uh cuz uh, leo me kujana haraka so msituanzie zile za hey, job uta job. <laughs> Conversation <laughs> kuna vile. Yeah. 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 So uh, asante sana. Um uh, I hope we finally get into the right mental space but maybe the I last am. thing nenda mm-hmm. kukuuliza mm-hmm. is if you have a teenage daughter yeah. does that affect your dating life and the way you approach yeah the way you approach like even relationships of course mm. yeah Why? because my daughter is my priority yeah yeah and her bringing is my priority mm. So when you come into my life unajua too that's a priority for me. Mm. So if you're not ready for it it's okay. But I will never undermine my role as a mother. That's very important to me because if I'm dating I'm dealing with an adult. But this is a child. She needs direction, she needs grooming. She's beautiful, she's talented. Unajua 
her mother is in the public so she has to be very important and i let her live her normal life she's just a normal 13 year old yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But then I have to provide the proper frameworks. Is she developing well physically, emotionally, mentally? Mm. How is her relationship with her dad? Mm. I, because I'm not those kind of parents who believe at Isasa I cartel. No, 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 no. Mm. I will mm. never be her father. Yeah, yeah. I'm only her mother. Mm. So I play that role. Yeah. And I don't make it difficult for the father to play his role as well. Mm. But life is not without its prejudices. But you take it in stride with courage and then you do it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, and I think for my side as uh, the father of a daughter, yeah, I'd like if I was to separate with my wife, I would not want some strange dude around my teenage daughter. I think yeah. as men, we are always like I don't trust anyone. True. So that's the reason now for me. Yeah. That's how I was looking at it. Like uh, these strange dudes, like nah, you don't want a strange dude around True. your your whatever. Because yeah, you never mm. know. Actually, people, I remember. So Jay figure out as in thought about it at that point. I mean it's good to be cautious. Yeah, uh, no, mm. <laughs> it's good to it's good to be cautious. Yeah. And even your the father to your daughter can meet the guy you're dating at some point. Yeah. Mm. Because him he'll be able to see something, especially if he's proper and mature. Yeah. He'll be able to see something that you can miss as a woman. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we yeah. left yeah. yeah. mm. yeah. mm. mm. yeah. yeah. mm. So so you know mu musa maga because at the kara nisha you enjoy gi wife na your story and chama bega jo na jo tuki uh, if you are going to be dating other dudes i don't want to you know yeah. like uh, but eh hey, as asante sana um vile tumeambia si kitabu ni nurrealized tabaki tumekuonyesha alafu pia pia si tunachukua hiyo opportunity ku invite kwa uh, show ya kuna divorce ya naitwa rapture the scientist <laughs> iko na stand up as is is he's goes like a whole segment of his stand up he's just going to talk about his divorce oh wow um so rapture iko na stand up yake december 16th okay and that divorce part is really funny because now he's looking at it in hindsight yeah. now the mistakes he made as a yeah. man yeah and uh whatever just just keeping it real. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah, yeah. making fun of the whole thing because yeah. at the end of the day we let me say it's life like, it's life there's nothing mm. life. special about no. staying married no. the same way there's nothing special about yeah, yeah it's like true. it's life and i think the thing is we need to just stop judging each other when you know on a feel like on a pedestal night this all these things most of them have already been done mm. Mm. so it's just enjoying yeah i love you if you're lucky enough to get someone who compatible now true stay, stick mm. stick, as long as stick. It. yeah mm. it's not easy by mm. the way yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it's not mm. yeah, yeah so let's want to say like subscribe hit, hit the, the notification button card. tell a friend to tell a friend to come alizia triple two to come a con in because baby you're a chum chum to me when it all got nothing to you, baby, you're a chum chum to me. When it all got nothing to say, I'm a slave in love, I'm a slave in 